Westbrook now a steal, and Westbrook is on the freeway. Come here to pioneer. I bring the light to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed here. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Move from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Now, listen, before we get into this video, you know what you need to do. Go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already done so, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, man, because I got a very special video today. I think I'm probably one of the first, and it's hard to say first, but I know when it comes to 2K20, um, I looked in search. I have not seen anybody do this. We are going to bring James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and that magnificent small five lineup to the wreck. So as you can see right here, man, we got James Harden. Shout out to my boy Dignify. He's going to be playing as my man Tucker. Um, we got um, in the background back there, you see my boy Rebound. He is playing as Robert Covington. And of course, as you see deep back in the corner, that is my boy Ray Benz. He is going to be playing as Russell Westbrook, all right? So I think that this is going to be something extremely unique. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. I'm really excited to give it to you, okay? Now, before we go any further, man, I know that y'all gonna ask, so let's just go ahead and look at these players' cards real quick so we can get a good look. Let's look at, um, let's see, we're gonna go with, uh, who we got, who we got, we got, we go at Dignify real quick, Dignify, he's gonna be playing as um, PJ Tucker. As you can say, he's gonna be a um, playmaking glass cleaner. As you can see, he's only 6'6". Obviously, that's something that's really dope because, again, PJ Tucker's only 6'5", so we're really close to that. Um, PJ Tucker, obviously, can really shoot and stretch the floor, so he has really good shooting badges for that. Obviously, PJ is really good facilitator as a secondary ball handler or just by being there as a monster on defense. So, again, the badges aren't necessarily going to 100% line up, but the fact is everybody is going to be short. Kajani is going to be playing as the one and only James Harden as a playmaking shot creator. Again, 6'5". You see he has some decent finishing badges, but this is not, obviously this is a play shot, so he's gonna have the Hall of Fame playmaking and shooting. He has really good shooting badges. Of course, you know he has some good playmaking badges. And then of course, you do see the three defensive badges, but let's not mind that. Obviously, that is something that we can be looked over. He doesn't play defense, but you can't get rid of the badges, right? My boy Rebounds will be playing as Robert Covington. As you know, he just um, was picked up in a drum with a trade. So we got Covington, who is, of course, an all-time defender, um, first team and second team defender throughout his time, and a great stretch shooter. So a rebounding guard is perfect for that at 6'7". Robert Covington is 6'7". So again, this is looking really solid. And then, of course, we have my man Ray Bands, who is going to be playing as a two-way slashing playmaker, who is going to be Russell Westbrook. And again, this is the perfect rendition of Russell Westbrook. He's a little bit taller than Russell Westbrook for this build, but it's okay. It's the build that really matters. And again, as you see the badges, they look great. And again, the defensive badges are off the charts. And Russell Westbrook, of course, as you know, is a gritty defensive player. And then last but not least, you have me, and I'm going to be playing as Eric Gordon. And I'm playing on my floor stacing slasher. As you know, Eric Gordon, aka Air, Air Gordon, is a really good dunker, high-flying slasher, and of course, he can stretch the floor and shoot the threes okay so this is our five that we're looking at right now i think like again this is going to be a banger so i just wanted y'all to see exactly what badges we have now let's go ahead and make our way to the arena and yo first of all i want to say man check out the face scans man shout out to each and every one of them putting in the time and effort to really try to get a decent face scan for each one man so pj tucker we're dignified looking dope man and of course i know y'all see some tattoos um, we did not remove the tattoos for this one, but understand from here on out for all the future videos that we're going to be doing as far as bringing NBA teams into the arena, they will have their tattoos removed, man. So we're going to get more and more in depth and detail. This was the first one. And after we did it, I was like, yo, you know what we need to do? We need to do this. We need to do that. So we did make some changes about that. But also another big thing is we got to go ahead and play by a couple rules. One, we have to run the Houston Rockets offense. We have to shoot at least 23, I mean, hit at least 23s. We have to shoot as many threes as possible and hit as many as we possibly can. And also, we got to run straight man. Now, running straight man in the wreck is definitely not ideal, but again, we have to run man because that's what the Rockets run. And obviously, for the most part, most players like to run zone. It just really helps out. 
in transition, but we have to run zone, okay? So other than that, man, we're about to hop in. Y'all go ahead and enjoy the video, and I'm gonna be right back with some commentary after we see this little cutscene right here, man. It's funny as hell. Oh, I got the James Harden shoes on and everything. GG. No, I got goggles on. <laughs> what? Hello, bro. Uh, it's always that stupid. one guy, bro. Hey, hey, don't on like, wait, let me. <laughs> Should we, uh, should we leave? You're stupid. Yeah, that's tough, bro. You got goggles. Should we leave? Bro. Uh, yeah. Oh, why are you so <laughs> stupid? <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you doing now, somebody? Yeah. Don't have me going for it. Like, I forgot. Like, scene one, take three, a eh, mark. Oh, I do have water. Right here. Why am I here by myself? Lord have mercy. This is for no, this is wait. Ready? Yeah, I see right here. Oh no, we're no. Good. I'm with someone named Lawrence uh, three. Hello, you didn't do a squad? No. Oh, no, 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 no. That's on me. It's been exactly six minutes until it was recording, yo. A few moments later. Yo, so finally we make it into the arena, man. We getting it started. As you see, we have my six foot five PJ Tucker doing the jump ball, and we actually win it. So that's a big banger. And in the first play of the game, there you go, my boy Ray Bands, aka Russell Westbrook with the dunk. Now, obviously, we couldn't match up the numbers because. Um, Westbrook and Harden, they were not able to get the numbers for Westbrook and Harden due to the fact that the team they were playing on. And I told man, listen, it's not the end of the world, so don't worry about it. We all know the face scans are dope enough, so instead of 13, we have Westbrook at um, 12, but he still has on his Adidas, man. So shout out to my boy Kijani cooking up. As you see, we're doing a five out, just like the way the Rockets play. They like to do the dribble drive and the, put, um, and the passing out. Or they will sometimes do a pick and roll, but for the most part, they're trying to do exactly what we did right there. Covington in the corner with the three. And that's what we're trying to do, man. Shoot as many threes. Like we said, we have to at least hit 23s. We have to run, man. We have to run the, the Rockets offense. So we're going to try to do that. Now, listen, it's not as easy as you think. We got a dude down there with a Kimalizer on face scan that is literally trying to play 90s basketball. Big lob from Harden to, I mean, from Westbrook to Harden. So shout out to him. But listen, it was really difficult, man, when you're trying to get these guys as small as we are to play defense with these big centers that we ended up going up against. We had two centers that were paint matching against us. So it did take us almost a solid quarter before us before we was able to really get our like um, bearings together so we could really actually cook up. But at the same time, it was so fun to sit here and try to run this. So I cannot wait to do different type of teams. But let's just talk about this Houston Rockets team. Okay, so the Houston Rockets, as you not, might know, they traded Clinton Capella. So Clinton Capella was hurt, right? When Clinton Capella got hurt, that's when Mike, Dan, and Tony was like, listen, we're going to try something crazy. We're going to go ahead and try to run a small ball lineup. Okay, and they go James Harden trying to throw a lob to himself, all right? Shout out to PJ. PJ swing to the Covington in the corner. Big greens, all right? So when Dan Antonio, he, he was like, listen, we're going to try something crazy. We're going to go ahead and go with a small ball lineup. Now, the small ball lineup that they ended up going with was putting PJ Tucker, who's 6'6", I mean, he's sorry, who's 6'5", at the center position. Now, this is crazy, and you want to know how crazy it is. This was the first time since 1963 when the Chicago Zyphers beat the New York Knicks that a team put out a starting five with no player taller than 6'6". So this has not been done since 1963, right? So 1963 is the first time that's another three banged in the corner. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're playing this, this offense to the best of our ability, and I think we're going to get better and better as the quarter go on, man. So we head into the second quarter, and um, like I said, I'm going to keep on talking about this. So, like, the numbers is crazy. That hasn't happened since 1963, right? But the cool thing is is that they've actually been doing pretty well with that. Now, they have been 6-4 and four of the last 10 games. Um, Eric Gordon has been a little um, hobbled, but a lot of the players have been doing really well. And, again, as you can see, my boy Harden, cooking up at the top of the key big greens he what we should try to do is try to get a couple head fakes and see if we can draw a foul because you know Harden's really good at drawing those fouls right but if you know about the Rockets man the Mike D'Antoni um they have he runs really really um, good offenses right always been the hindrance has always been the defense you know he was really um his really big claim of fame was with the Phoenix Suns when he had Steve Nash and Amari Steinmeier and they've had numerous opportunities back then to you know make it to the finals and um they wasn't able to do that he bounced around with the Knicks that was a, a huge um, colossal failure 
failure. He tried with the Lakers, that was a failure. But when he got here with James Harden and the Houston Rockets, things changed. Again, that's a three in the corner. So just keep just keep watching how we're playing this while I talk, man. We're doing really, really solid. Um, playing this five out, pushing the ball up and down the floor. So hopefully you can see that we're running the offense and at the same time, my guys are cooking up in the corners, right? But let's just jump right to it. So what the Rockets have done, they have set the record. For the most three-pointers in the season, they did that last year with 13,000, I mean, 1,305, right, which is really toxic. They also had the most threes in the game with 27, okay? And if you put fast forward to this year, right, they lead the league, of course, with most threes made with 15, with 15 and a half um, a game. And they also have a whopping most attempted with 44 threes a game. They're attempting 44 threes a game right now. So that's crazy if you think about it. How many threes are throwing up? But that's the whole offense. When you're playing small ball like that, look at Harden go right to the rack, right? When you're playing small ball like that, that's your only option you have. Listen, you might out rebound us, but man, we're gonna outshoot you, and that's exactly what they've been doing. Of course, you know this offense is being led by, you know, James Harden and Russell Westbrook, and of course, James Harden is leading the league in points right now. He's actually averaging 34 and a half points a game, six rebounds a game, and also he is averaging seven and a half assist the game so that's really good of course that's James Harden numbers Westbrook his numbers have dipped a little bit obviously look at that spin move I did hop step dot in the corner mm -hmm. PJ let's get it baby let's get it so Westbrook numbers have dropped a little bit obviously he was after triple double the last few years but this year obviously with Harden on his team he's averaging 27 and a half points he's averaging eight rebounds and he's having seven assists so of course that is extremely well as you see these guys down low paint mash us we're a small team so as you can see how difficult that can be all right but he's actually the last 10 games since he's um since they went to that extreme small ball lineup he's been averaging 31 and a half points eight and a half rebounds and shooting a whopping 36 and a half percent from the three-point line 36 look at that still right there taking it straight to the rack there you go Westbrook that's how you handle it right but he's shooting 36 and a half percent from the three-point line and if you know anything about Russell Westbrook you know good and well that is not how he usually shoots. So he's literally the one that's benefiting the most, as you see a lob right there from um, Harden to Westbrook. But he's literally the one that's benefiting the most because before this happened, he was shooting 25% from the three-point line. And a lot of the people were saying that was because because of Capella and how he was clogging the paint. And he wasn't more of like Chris Paul, where Capella really shined with Chris Paul because Chris Paul really works well in the pick and roll. Um, with the pick and roll, obviously you remember Live City with DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin. But while obviously Westbrook is a different type of guard, he want he he's the one that really has the ISO. He really likes to move in transition. CP is more of a half court offense so, um, type guy. So of course by that trade, it was just Capella just, just not did not fit with Westbrook, right? And as you can see, um, as we get into halftime, right? Uh, I think it's the Westbrook player of the game and as you can see we have eight threes that we hit right now um, So we had 12 threes that we need to try to go for so let's keep a track on that but um, Obviously now with that's open um, offense with PJ Tucker and um, um, Robert Covington playing down low as you see they're still trying to paint match um, It changed it opened up a lot of the lanes and as you can see on the fast break you have me going and getting a nice little lob. But it changed it up for him to where now all of a sudden he has more freedom to do what he wants to do. Same thing for James Harden. Both of those numbers had to take the, uh, went up, but the biggest beneficiary, I guess you can say, is gonna be Westbrook, right? Now, again, Robert Covington's averaging 13 and a half points, eight rebounds, shooting 37 and a half percent from a three point line. PJ Tucker is averaging seven points, he's averaging seven rebounds, but he's shooting 41 and a half percent from a three point line. Line. And then, of course, you have Eric Gordon, who has been hobbled, right, this season. And he's been doing the best that he can. He's still been playing. He's still getting his 25 minutes a game. And as you see, another three in the corner by Covington, right? And, of course, I'm trying to call them by their names, the NBA names, if you haven't caught on yet, all right? <laughs> but um, he's been hobbled, but he's still shooting 34% for a three-point line. So you can see everybody on this team is shooting above 35% for a three-point line. And, again, it's a huge experimental type offense. I'm interested to see, could this sustain? As you see, another three in the corner, right? Could this be sustained? And I really like to say, point this out, we are doing pretty dang going good at shooting as many threes as we possibly can, if, if you don't ask me. Now, I'm a little biased, but I think y'all can agree 
we were doing pretty well shooting these threes. Another turnover by PJ. PJ goes ahead and throw it, and look at this, another lob to James Harden. James Harden with the finish, so we're up by 16. So we're finally getting a little momentum. We're finally getting the hang of things, and I'm not gonna lie, the whole time we were playing, guys were really, really excited. It was like, yo, I'm not even gonna lie, this is the most fun I've ever had running the rack. We just finished another video. I'm not gonna tell you what team we did, because you will be seeing that this week also. But again, they were having so much fun. And look at that big contact dunk by Russell Westbrook to the paint, man. And of course, you know, we go to the free throw line. And, and if you could hear us, we were extremely amped when we saw that. And as you can see, one of the guys quit. And the dude that quit was the center that just got dunked on, right? So <laughs> he was like, listen, man, I'm out, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a part of that anymore. And as you see, they throw another turnover. And this is when you literally start to see the huge downfall for um, the team that we're playing against because this is when we started to hit stride. Look at that dot right there for PJ. And then he goes right into the corner and then boom, Covington again. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This dude was stroking up. And of course, you know, Covington is being played by my boy Rebounds. And Rebounds is a really good lockdown and he really knows how to shoot with his players. So he was paid a great rendition of him. And then of course, here's me again on the fast break as Eric Gordon getting another lob. We're up by- Just um, get, get bottom left, Rebound. Um, um, yeah, get bottom left, bottom left, bottom left. James is there. I'll go wing. Can Johnny? Oh my! I tried to pass it out to him, but I pressed X. That's my first miss. Oh my god! That's my first miss. Oh, okay. So I was just giving rebound a compliment, and my boy Dignified dropped off his defender. And what does he do with a wide open shot to try to finish the highlight? He misses it, all right? <laughs> but yo, man, regardless, man, rebound is really, 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 really good um, as a lockdown and as his rebounding guard. And he has a perimeter lockdown that's dope too. So, I mean, obviously it was just one of those flukes. But as you can see, man, we're getting a little cheesy right here, but I'm wide open. I get a full white, man. Shout out to the full white gods in the building because that's all I do is just hit full whites. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying before, man, we had that little clip, man. They do lead the league in, in threes and um, three-pointers made um, and attempted and also um, second and free throws um, made and attempted. Obviously, that's led by James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Um, and then, of course, a really cool tidbit that I want to put out there is that they're also fifth, right, in steals per game. So, you know, they're very opportunistic when it comes to, gotta get that word out, um, on their defense. And look at that big defense right there, man. Little guy sitting out there playing with the big guard, um, with the big centers, and then gets us right in transition, getting a nice, easy dunk, right? So again, you know, they are really good. Um, when I say good on the defensive end, they're just good in the defensive end enough, right? But their whole objective is not to play really good defense. The whole objective is to post the ball down and get the shot up within 10 seconds. And as you can see, the whole game, We've been getting shot up within 10 seconds like it's nothing. I mean, we're on pace for 100 points. Um, and again, and this is after a very slow start, right? This is a very slow start. And then we are just now getting in that transition. We're, chuck we're chucking the ball up the court. And again, another lob being thrown up to Russell Westbrook for myself. And of course, like I said, you know, trying to play this five out offense was extremely fun. Most of the time we do the four out with the pick and roll to play five out and to really have, you know, um, Harden and Westbrook both ISO at the top. So of course, you know, um, Kajani and Ray Vance, they both alternated back and forth. Um, just, you know, whoever got the ball, that's kind of how it is right now for the Rockets. They leave him again open, Covington. Like well, how many threes does Rebound have to hit before they realize they cannot leave that guy open? Covington's a hell of a shooter, hell of a defender, but my goodness, are you gonna play defense, right? But anyway, so again, like I was saying, man, playing that five out was really, really fun. Um, trying to be able to get these 23 point shots. That's what we really were trying to do. Trying to get the shot up within 10 seconds. We was also trying to do that. And again, we did a pretty good job. As you can see, another wide open three in the corner. Now, I would say this, obviously, as you can look at the, um, the box score that just popped up, um, the Rockets, um, they are second in the league in points per game. They're averaging about 118 and um, 0.3 points a game. They're second because the Bucks also average 118, but they're up uh, nine tenths of a point. So they're basically tied. They're both averaging 118 points a game. But the big difference is the Bucks play extremely better defense. So that's why they have a better formula and they win a lot of games. But look at another shot. That one was contested. So if you kind of look at it in the grand scheme, offensively, as usual, like any Mike Dan um, Tony um, team, they're going to be great offensively. 
offensively. It's just really trying to figure out how they're going to play defensively, how they got to hold up. Now, right now, they're currently fifth um, in, the, um, in, the, um, in the Western Conference standings. That's another contested shot. And right now, if they were to go into the playoffs, they're playing against the Utah Jazz, right? So the Utah Jazz is currently fourth. Um, they're split right now, one and one, and both of those games have been when the Rockets were going off that small ball lineup. So, again, you know, it'll be very interesting to see how well they're doing the playoffs this year with that small ball lineup, all right? But, um, again, like I said, it's really interesting to see how this thing would turn out. But we were very excited in another three hitting the corner of running this lineup. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to continue to throw some crazy different teams out here, run some crazy 90s basketball, running from the post, like working inside out how it was in the 90s. We're going to go back even further. We're going to play with some of the legendary teams that you can probably um, imagine or maybe your, your minds are running wild. But I want you to do this. Oh, look at that dunk right there. That's on me. You know what I'm saying? I had to go ahead and get me a little shine. But um, go ahead and put in the comment section what team you think we should play with next, right? And tell me what you think that, you know, we should do differently. If you think that's something we should do differently. I know another idea we thought of was going into the Pro-Am. So we are going to Pro-Am, get some real custom jerseys for the actual teams. So we're going to do that. Um, Harden misses a wide open shot. Here I am wide open. I hit a three, and that three right there gave us the century mark of 100 points. So we was really excited about that. So we hit 100 points. The big thing is, is we'll be able to hit the 23s. And we'll find that out really coming really soon. And here we go. So again, um, it's a 102 to 158. And all I just want to say is this, man. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know if you think what team we should do next, like I said. And as you're going to see right here, man, we did hit the 23s. So that was pretty dope. And of course, this is your man, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger. You know, when I say I'll be back soon on the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm out. Yeah. Rare. Rare form. Yeah.